With Adobe Photoshop Mix, I can work on images in ways that I never dreamed of. Let's start with images that I captured on my iPhone. I'm going to go ahead and launch Photoshop Mix, and I've already taken the liberty of signing in with my Adobe ID. By signing in, I got access to projects that I actually started on the iPad with Photoshop Mix. But what we want to do is create a new project. So I'm going to go ahead and tap the plus sign. And what this does is it gives me access to not only the images that are stored on my iPhone and the ability to take new ones with the camera, but also any images that I stored in the cloud, whether it's in my Creative Cloud Files folder, syncing to Lightroom Mobile, or if I have images on Facebook or Dropbox, I can grab them and bring them into Photoshop Mix. But I already have the image on my iPhone on the camera roll. Let's go ahead and grab an image of Monument Valley. Now, the thing I love about this image is that it's a nice mountain range that's naturally cut out. You know, that hole is there by nature. But what I don't like about this image is the sky was completely blown out that day. So I'd love to replace the sky with a better sky. And I just happened to take one the following day in Monument Valley. So I'm just going to go ahead and tap the plus sign and add a new image. And this is the one with the better sky. So I can go ahead and just pinch and zoom to zoom that up and put the focus on the area of the sky that I like best. Now, the problem is that that image is now on top. So what I'll do is just simply drag the original image and switch the order. So now the Monument Valley image is on top that I want. And I know what you're thinking. We can't see the sky because we need to cut it out. So just simply tapping the right layer and tapping cut out, I can go ahead and start to cut out this image. And Photoshop Mix is like magic. It knows the areas of the image as soon as I drag my fingers over it that I'd like to keep. And there it is. It's already eliminated everything else. So from here, I can just acknowledge or tap OK. And now I can even go back to the original sky and move it around, the original sky layer. So I can recomposite it and reposition it and get it in the position that I want. Now this is great. I could be done with this image at this point. I could share it. But there are some other things I'd love to do with it with the full power of Photoshop on my desk. And Photoshop Mix gives me that workflow, the ability to tap share and not only share it out to social media or save it to the camera roll as a composite, but to actually send it to Photoshop. So once I tap send to Photoshop, that will create a layered Photoshop document, sync it to my same Creative Cloud account and sync it back down to my desktop so it's waiting for me whenever I get back to my desk. And from there, I'll just go ahead and tap close. It's already done it. And we'll go back to the gallery here. And that, that project will also sync to Creative Cloud. So the image is already on my computer waiting for me. Let's take a look at it in Photoshop CC. So here we are in Photoshop CC with the image that we just worked on on the iPhone in Photoshop Mix. And as you can see, my layers are there. I can turn them on, turn them off, rearrange, move them, continue to mask and work on them. But what I'd love to do is take advantage of some of that good old fashioned Adobe magic. I want to go into my Content Aware Move tool and simply make a selection of some of this foliage that's leading up to the hole and kind of move it out of the way. So we'll just make a selection and then simply pick it up and move it over to a different part of the photo and Photoshop will automatically fill in the rest. And if I want to continue working on that, I can deselect, use the patch tool and patch out some of the remnants that may have been left behind or just other parts of the desert, of the sand. And there we are. There's my completed composite ready to go or work on or continue to use in Photoshop.